so let's get into the big question. So um, I was watching, if you guys didn't know, uh, the Sting Into the Light documentary uh, from the DVD that came out a few months ago is on WWE Network. I was watching it uh, uh, Saturday morning as I was putting together DVD orders for, for the uh, Renegade Wrestling Alliance show uh, that evening and, and, and watching it as I was going. And, and they got to the point where it was uh, about uh, Hulk Hogan versus Sting, Starcade 96, that year plus buildup that they did. And the change in character to be to be like the crow and and, and all of that. Um, and I realized what for me that was a great time. That was I I I lived through it. I experienced it. I was on the edge of my seat f- through much of that storyline um, until that match and scratching my head, <laughs> which was reflected in the documentary. So the big question is. What is a time that you remember? So there might be a partially a remember when as well. <laughs> what is a time that you remember where the storyline, the buildup was long, short, whichever, but really kind of built you up and built you up and just felt so very flat, much like, <laughs> much like that instance there. I think we may have all the same answer on this. By one. the way, the what Riz... What instant were you mentioning there, Sorg? I'm sorry. That was the Starcade 96 against, uh, oh, for those who don't recall, Hulk Hogan versus Sting. Sting was in Sting the rafters. Hogan. Wasn't it we, Starcade 97? Maybe. Was it 97? It might have been 97. Because there is a certain special guest referee. That's right. Oh, you're right. You're Bret right. Hart. Bret Hart was the guest referee or enforcer and restarted <laughs> the match. And this is after a year of Sting not wrestling. We didn't know what side he was on. And finally he came out and and, 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 and this happened. You're right, because I think Starcade 96 was Roddy Piper. So mm-hmm. so there was that. Uh, so And, of course, there was uh, Hogan got a clean pin. And, 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 and Bret said, this isn't going to happen. And he restarted the match and, and really kind of screw job helped Sting win, kind of. Uh, which was really, really awkward at the time. So, what, what, what is something similar that you, you were really disappointed after all the amazing, amazing buildup? Uh, Mike apparently has an answer. Uh, Sorg, it's one I was there live for, and I think I know which one you're saying. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah, so you better come up with a different one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that would be WrestleMania 20. Yep. The battle to end all battles, Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar. Were, Ironically, wait. also with a special referee. <laughs> now, did you? Were you really into the build to that, though? Yes. Really? Yes, because the build started at the Royal Rumble with uh, Brock Lesnar being pissy and eliminating Goldberg, which I was excited about, and then it ended with Goldberg basically giving the WWE title to Eddie Guerrero, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, and I was really, I'm like, okay, these guys both cost each other really big things and they've never fought before. This and is a one time thing. And Austin is the referee. This can't possibly be bad. And it's the subtext. Of, it was one of the first subtext of, uh, post W post WCW WWE war. It was, mm-hmm. A big guy from WCW versus a big guy from WWE. They're going to brawl it out. It was supposed to be really damn good. And and and, it's and, and I also want to say, this is the first time the internet ruins something. Yeah, it's and it's the also first the, time. You can also say it's one of the first times that like this this fan backlash thing that's become so. Well, okay, I don't. So I don't necessarily think it's not that. The fans because, fault. No, that this one wasn't the fans' fault. This was the internet. But the match did not help. No, the match was not good. But the fans, if they had been in a mood to play along, perhaps could have helped that match well, along a little nope, bit. Nope, not <laughs> in the beginning. Knew. Matt, it was at least six and a half, seven minutes, maybe longer, yeah. probably longer, before they touched. <laughs> Giggity. And you um, can do that <laughs> if you're guys like Ric Flair or Eddie Guerrero and you're playing up. They were just angrily staring because they both had better things to do after WrestleMania. Yeah, they, they, Brock was going to go on for his football career, which lasted half of a... It lasted maybe one preseason game. Yeah, and then he went off the UFC. And then Goldberg 
I don't know. What did Goldberg do Goldberg after Goldberg was going to work with the Speed Channel or something. Oh, yeah, that's right. Guess and they knew, they, like, like man, Mike said, they knew beforehand, and the internet knew beforehand, and the internet always wins <laughs> when it comes to things that mag, like, that big. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm holding very cold. This This was the first big match of the internet era. Yes. And it failed. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, mean, I mean, it didn't fail on the point of them, the, the WWE actually listening to them because at the end of the match, at the end of everything, Stone Cold stuns both of them. And mm-hmm. out. All right, Pop Quiz, who won that match? Not the Goldberg. fans. I was there and I don't remember. Goldberg. <laughs> yes, I, I think you're right, but... I'd, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was If you told me Lesnar won too, I would have believed that. Nope, nope, nope. Well, I think I won money on that one too. So John does, Cena won that match. Does anybody, yeah. Matt? Matt, do you have one that's not Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg? Yes, I do. Um, I've actually got a couple on my mind. Uh, All right, maybe good. lesser. I'll go with the one that I thought had the best build. Uh, WrestleMania 25, Triple H versus Randy Orton in the main event, and it was a nuclear liquid hot. Build with Randy Orton as just the absolute biggest douchebag you've ever seen in your life. He knocks Stephanie unconscious and kisses her while Triple H's hand come to the ring ropes. <laughs> it's all time. Uh, let's see. Triple H invades Randy Orton's home, throws him through his front window. Um, it was super nuclear hot. It felt super hot. Um, and then uh, Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker happened. And you know what? The match itself was poorly – did not take advantage of the emotions leading into it. And also, it really needed to be like – they really need to take the gloves off. And I know that like um, – I'm pretty sure either Triple H or Randy Orton has actually said this on the record. That not only did they admit that basically they watched Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker and were like, well, we're screwed. But also stated that – um, they were hamstrung by the fact that they actually had to actually have this blood feud match under normal wrestling match rules. It needed to be like no holds barred. No right. Or and and that anyway, was, no, they couldn't really do everything they wanted to do. That was that, also a recounted. The, the official rule was, the official rule was that if Triple H got disqualified, he would lose. That's he right. That's, lose that's the title. Uh, yeah, so weird. Like, that was made an official rule in the match. So it wasn't even like you could have relaxed rules. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, and that, then that becomes like the whole world becomes, can he com- possibly compose himself, you know? And yeah. within the first five minutes, both guys hit their finishers. Mm-hmm. Like, that was the first offensive move for both men. <laughs> Orton hit an RKO and Triple H hit a pedigree. Wow. Uh, Riz, do you have another one? I do. Uh, it, it, it's kind of blurry since it was like a few years ago. Uh, but the clusterfuck that was... Uh, the WrestleMania nine main event, <laughs> the, uh, the, the, that's the toga party, right? Yeah. yeah that's the toga yeah. party. Uh, having so Bret Hart and Yokozuna in a match for the world heavyweight championship. And then all of a sudden have Hulk Hogan win the match. I, 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 I've watched that more times than I've watched anything else like anything else in professional wrestling. And I'm still confused on how that match happened and how everything in that match like took place, how Hulk Hogan won by the first place. Uh, well, Yoko the, won first. Yeah, Yoko won. Yoko won first yeah, with Yoko salt won in the eye of breath. But then Hulk Hogan came out. Yes. Like that, that's, that part was just the fuck you, Brett. I'm doing this. <laughs> because... I, I'm conf- like, I'm still confused talking about it. Uh, I mean, the build between Bret Hart and Yokozuna still waged on until WrestleMania 10, right? A year later, and it was all because fucking Hulk Hogan. <laughs> uh, but it just it it was one of those weird things that happened that I can't get out of my head. Like I, I know it she cheated WrestleMania. This is WrestleMania brother, I'm gonna slam you like I did Andre in front of ninety million people. Uh but there was there wasn't really any 
like the build the build up to WrestleMania nine was thwarted by Hulk Hogan beating him in what was it sixteen seconds or I forget what random number he beat uh, he beat Yokozuna by but it, it was a slam and a leg drop it wasn't even a slam no no it wasn't even a slam no oh, it was a clothesline no, no a- it, Fuji threw the salt in Yokozuna's eyes oh, big boot, leg man. drop big boot big boot yeah. clothesline leg drop but still it, it, I'm. You can tell by my voice I am confused already by talking about this. Uh, just, just maybe that's why Bret Hart screwed uh, screwed over Hogan for Sting. Who knows? Um, Actually, I think Bret has said in interviews that that was the reason he had resentment toward Hulk Hogan. Good, mm-hmm. good, mm-hmm. good. So Sorg. from from well, I, I think mine was was kind of the starter of this, but uh, from the, from the uh, Facebook where I, I posed this question earlier in the week, actually, um, Cards was saying Rock versus Cena won. I don't see why Rocky needed to win that one other than Cena uh, uh, for the next one. Which yeah, basically right. Oh hell no! What what? No, Alex Cards, absolutely no. not. That's not what the that's that's not... no. What are they saying? What's he saying? That's Rock not... didn't have to win that match. Rock had to win that match. The Rock needed to win that match. For oh, my yeah. mental and health, the Rock needed to win that match. And, and, that and wasn't that's a not, great match. Uh, and, and that's not what you're talking about, though, Sorg. Mm-hmm. You're saying that the buildup didn't equal the match. Right. Like, the, you, like you didn't Which say you the buildup. Yeah. You know what? I, you know what? I'll say this. I heard, the, I heard that crowd after that match. The result was there. The end result was there. Mm-hmm. Right. Good match, and it was that's, now, like saying, that's like saying Rock Hogan at eighteen was a bad match. It's right now, of course, said, it was a bad match, but it worked. You know, if he said Rock or not Rock Cena two, that was no good. Then I would have agreed with him. Why are you mentioning matches I've been to live, Riss? Because <laughs> New York doesn't deserve nice things. Hey, you know? that's exactly shut up! What I'm saying we got the last Shawn Michaels World Title win. Damn it! Wait, you were you were at the WrestleMania nine? No. Oh. What? No. Um, so <laughs> that Rock Cena too. Uh, also, also from the Facebook, uh, uh, Gabriel Pierce out there in Portland says uh, the whole year and a half build of Edge getting frustrated, winning money in the bank, winning the title, <laughs> just to lose it two weeks later was deflating. Yeah, but still, the build up yeah. to the night I think was but was that tremendous. That whole thing was the birth of the Mayhem show, so it ultimately that is succeeded. that is true. That is true. Like that, was and, the, and it did and. Edge was so successful as was successful as the champion there, and he earned yes. obviously many, many more. Yes. Yeah, yes. like like if he swaggered after that, then yeah, that would be horrible. Cool. <laughs> yes. oh, finally, oh, no. finally, and yes, it. and yes, that is a verb now. That is now. A verb. <laughs> and finally, finally, uh, from Tragar, his prom night. So moving on, thank you. Let's know your uh, answer to the uh, big uh, question uh, on uh, Twitter uh, at Mayhem Show. One more Sorgi. What? Sorgi from the chat room. Heel Garza chimes in. Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal last year. Oh. All the build up. Damian Mizdow turning on the Miz, and then the Big Show wins. F this company. Yep. That was yep. That's okay. I can't argue with that one. Yeah, or exactly. Damian's sad now. Oh, we're <laughs> exactly. all sad now. Not even on the social outcast. 